Hello, welcome to Bars and Bells and the Bell Basic Refining Video Series, the final installment, the loaded kettlebell swing. Before we swing that kettlebell, let's get that core tension warmed up for the top position. Stepping back into your hinge position, chop your hips back and walk yourself forward into your high plank. In this high plank, our hands are underneath our shoulders, our cheeks are squeezed nice and tight, and our core is braced. Without moving anything, think about pulling your hands towards your hips, creating that tension. This is what you'll experience at the top of your swing for three, two, knees come down, just take a second off. We want that tension to be high, so only holding this for about 10 seconds, let's do that one more time. Pull yourself up into that plank, tucking the hips under, squeezing, pulling the shoulders down, engaging those lats, breathing behind that shield for three, two, this time tilt the tailbone towards the ceiling, lifting the hips, pressing back to that hinge, walking up. Give yourself a little time shaking it out in between. Let's set up with our toes touching the belly of the bell into our start position. So from here we pivoted on a heel and then on the toes, pivoting on the heel and then on the toes, rocking back and forth, finding that comfortable place in the floor. Once you're comfortable, our hike pass, but now loaded. Let's watch Ian do two first. He's gonna hinge, gripping the bell, tipping it, pulling to the hips, and then parking the bell back where he got it. This time, place it down, up without, and give it a little shake. Let's join him for three. From here, we hip pinged, place our hands on the bell, tip, pull to the hips, and then park. You're wearing your load through your hamstrings and glutes, staying the same height the whole time, park that bell, and come on up without. Whew, always shaking that tension off in between sets. Next, we're gonna explore our stop swing. A stop swing is one full swing, park the bell. Ian's gonna do two. One full swing, park, and repeat. One full swing, and park. Before we do that with him, let's stand up, take a second, and review a couple things. As we pull that bell to the hike pass, our hips drive the bell through, and we should have that strong exhale that match the hip extension. At the top of the swing, we have those shoulders retracted and about chest height. We're gonna to try to let the bell fall without moving and then hinge and place the bell back down where you got it. Here we go, let's join him for three. Pull, all the way up, through, and park. Repeat two more times. Pull, through, and park. At the top, that plank tension. Pull, exhale, plank, and park. Come on up without shaking it out. Whew. If we feel ready, let's link some of those stop swings into five continuous swings. Here we go, it all starts with the setup. Hinge, grip, pull, swing, through, and repeat for three more times. Top of the swing, that strong exhale, plank tension, and then park the bell with control, shaking it out, always in between. Let's repeat all of those drills one more time, starting first with our hike pass. Set yourself up behind your bell. Once ready, we'll use our hinge and preload. Remember this hike pass is only pulling to the hips. Here we go. Pull using your lats, park the bell. Pull and park, three more. Ian is trying to stay that same height throughout here. Park and then once complete, up without. After working on those hike passes, we progressed to some stop swings. Always set up with care and control. Hands on the bell. It's one full swing and park. Pull, swing, through, and park. Let's repeat for three more. Hips drive that bell through to that top position. Kneecaps are pulled up to, at the top of their swing. Butts are squeezed, core is braced. We always have that core tension on, even in our hike pass position. Let it go, shake it off. And for one more time, we'll try our set of continuous swings here. Let's repeat for five swings in a row. Set up your hinge, grip your bell, pull, and swing for five. One, strong exhale as those hips drive through. Feet stay rooted. Keep that hinge on every single swing and always put the bell down with as much care as you picked it up with. Whew. Take your time, catch your breath, let that heart rate feel some work, but also give yourself some control to settle it back down. 
Thanks for joining us in this refining video where we reviewed our hike paths, our stop swings, and finally our continuous swings. Always go back to those drills and practice strength and patience with your kettlebell swing. My name is Lauren and together with Ian, we've been working on refining a lot of skills. Review these videos at any point in time in your workout journey to keep strong with the basics and get stronger with the kettlebell, the bar, and the body weight. Thank you for joining. Goodbye.